Hey there, this is Laquita with QuitaBugHandmaids.com and thank you so much for joining me today. I am really excited about today's card. It features the Pun Intended stamp set. This is a hostess set which is available in my online Stampin' Up! store when you spend $150 or more. So this set, I don't know if you've paid attention to it in our annual catalog, it is awesome. I love this set. It has some great images and I love the um, different sayings like snappy birthday and I love you a lot. Um, sorry, I'm not too bright. I, I love this set. So let me show you what today's project featuring this stamp set looks like. Here's the card I designed using that pun intended stamp set. I absolutely love this card. I have been really wanting to practice um, sponging um, on a background of one of my cards. And I don't really do a whole lot of techniques usually in my cards. I'm, I'm a pretty simple card maker, but I've been dying to try some sponging and I absolutely love how the background of this card turned out. So let's go ahead and get started and I will show you how to create this fun card. Okay, so to get started, I've got a piece of Whisper White cardstock. This piece is cut at three and a half by four and three quarters. I have all of the measurements for today's project over on my coordinating blog post, which is just below the video in the description notes. So I have everything listed out over there for you guys. So I'm gonna bring in some scratch paper because we are going to be sponging the background of this layer. And I'm gonna start with my lightest color. The colors that I'm going to use are Daffodil Delight, um, Crushed Curry, and Tangerine Tango. So I'm going to start with my lightest color and then work my way up to the Tangerine Tango. So we're starting with Daffodil Delight and I've got my sponge ready. And let me just show you what I do for my sponges is I take a piece of the coordinating cardstock, I punch it out using any of, you can use any of your punches, but for this one I use the label bracket punch. I punch it out um, and then I write the name of the ink color on there and then I just staple it on with my handheld stapler and then that way I always know which sponge goes with which color. So I've got all three sponges for today's colors ready to go. So just a little tip in case uh, you needed one for how to store your sponges or how to keep, label your sponges. Okay, so I've inked that up and I'm gonna start at the bottom of this piece of Whisper White. And I'm just using a circular motion here to add this color. Just ink up some more. Okay, so I think that that looks pretty good for the Daffodil Delight. I think I'm gonna stop there. I'm gonna put that away. And I wanna go on to my crushed curry. And I'm gonna start the crushed curry uh, sort of in the center of where I left off with the Daffodil Delight. I think I'm finished with the crushed curry. And you can sort of see the progression of color here. Um, the Daffodil Delight was down here and then I progressed to the uh, crushed curry up here. So it is, it may be difficult to see in the video, but it does have a lighter look down here and then it gets a little bit deeper. So I'm actually going to, I guess I'll leave it this direction. And now I'm gonna bring in the Tangerine Tango. And I'm gonna pull this color in from the top. Now this is a really rich orange, so I am gonna kinda sponge off a little bit before, and then I'm just gonna drag it down. 
I want it to kind of fade down. Okay, so I'm done with the tangerine tangle. I want to kind of um, blend this area a little bit more. So I'm going to bring back my Daffodil Delight. And I'm just going to kind of work my way up into some of that tangerine tango. I just want to kind of blend, blend this a little bit better. Okay, that looks, so it took that harsh edge off of that tangerine tango. Ooh, that looks really good, love it. Okay, all right, so now we're done with the sponging. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna bring in my Memento Tuxedo Black and I'm going to stamp my little lamp or hanging light fixture here using this memento and I just want it to be sure that it's inked up really really well because I want a very crisp black image okay I'm gonna stamp this off to the right but not all the way at the top so about here I think and I want to get a really good image That looks great. Okay. Oh, let me leave that out because I want to stamp my sentiment. I've got this little half inch strip of Whisper White. I'm going to stamp the You Light Up My Life also in the Memento Tuxedo Black. Okay. Bring that down a little bit. I'm not stamping all the way over to the left because I do want to leave a little bit of room there for something that I'm going to add to it. Okay, so that finishes all the stamping. So I'm going to bring in some basic black cardstock. This is cut at three and three quarters by five inches. Again, all of the measurements are over on today's coordinating blog post. That's linked below the video. So I just used a little bit of Fast Fuse on there, and I'll just add this right in the center. Ugh, oh, I love this on that black layer. Oh my gosh, beautiful. Okay, now I've got a piece of Pool Party cardstock. This is cut at four and a quarter by 11 inches, and I have scored it at five and a half, and I'm going to add this layer on like that again using fast fuse okay now I'm gonna take my sentiment and I am just going to cut this down a little bit let's see right about there I guess and then I'm just gonna flag it just like that and we'll add that right down here to the bottom. Okay, that should be good. Okay, that looks good. Um, I want to add one of our enamel 
uh, shapes. I'm going to add a heart because I want to tie in this heart here. I'm going to add a heart in Tangerine Tango. Let's see if I can get one of these up here. There we go. And I'm just going to kind of put that on at a little bit of an angle since this card has so many straight lines. We'll break it up there with a little angle. Perfect. Okay, and the finishing touch to this card is some of our solid basic black baker's twine. So I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna see, I want to kind of break this area up so it doesn't look like my little lamp is just floating in midair. So I'm gonna fold up a glue dot here, put it right here at the top of my little lamp, my light fixture. Okay, then I'm just gonna lay my baker's twine right in that glue dot. That's just gonna help me hold my place Okay, and then I'm just going to wrap my twine around three times. Okay, I've got that wrapped around three times. And now I'm just going to tie a simple little bow here. Okay, so I'm just kind of pulling the tails here until I get my bow just how I want it. Okay, I think this side needs to be a little bit smaller. Oopsies. Okay, I think that looks pretty cute. So I'll go ahead and clip this. I want it to be fairly short. Oh, that's perfect. And then I want this side to be close together. Let's bring the bow here. And then I want to spread out this side a little bit. Sort of like that. Okay, and let's just give this a nice tight crease. And that finishes today's card. I absolutely love this card. I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. I hope you had fun with this sponging technique. I love how this background turned out. Um, if you'd like to purchase any of the Stampin' Up! supplies that you saw me use today, you can just visit my online Stampin' Up! store. I have the link just below this video in the description notes. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys, and I will see you again real soon. Bye now.